Hey everybody, this is Nathan from the ProductiveLinux.com blog and podcast, and uh, I'm here just going to show you to show you just a few of my favorite things about uh, ZimWiki, which is a cool note-taking application uh, for the Linux desktop. Uh, the first thing I really love about ZimWiki is that you can automatically uh, create links on the fly. So if I do this, if I start my uh, line with HTTP colon uh, double slash there, and uh, let's say I wanted to put in a link to ProductiveLinux.com is going to automatically make that clickable and it'll open in my browser which is really neat. Um, I can also create pages on the fly this way in my notebook. Uh, how about this for title? Spock is cool. There we go and uh, all I have to do to go to that page is put my cursor over it hit enter and uh, I'm at my page. I could also click on it with my mouse if I wanted to do that. Um, I really like that ZimWiki supports images so I can go ahead and go uh, insert image and I have a handy one on my desktop of Spock and uh, there we go. I think that's that's pretty neat. You can also insert some other cool stuff like the date and time and uh, other links and you can also attach files and things like that. Um, I'm going to show you another cool feature here that I really like. There we go. Um, I love how you can do all kinds of different stuff with the bullet points. You just start your line with an asterisk and a space, and then um, you just start your, your list, and then as you go down and press enter, it'll automatically do a new bullet for you. And I like that you don't have to open any kind of bullet toolbar or start bulleting or anything like that. Just an, aster an asterisk and a um, space and you're good to go. Um, likewise you can do this a similar thing with uh, check boxes which is pretty neat. Um, you can actually create a whole to-do system and I'll show you kind of how you would do that. You can uh, do your open bracket and close bracket right next to each other. I'll do it again here. Press space and uh, you have a check box and then you could do like a to-do item and then we could make it due on let's say May 25th 2009 and exclamation points are for priority so we can mark that uh, say a priority one we could have another item uh, let's call it to do item two and uh, let's make that do a little bit later the 27th of two of May of 2009 and maybe a uh, lower priority there priority two and uh, what's really cool is then we can go up to this button here that's uh, the open to-do list button click it and uh, it'll show you all of your to do's uh, you, you'll notice you can sort them by priority here uh, by the task name it'll, it'll automatically read that due date for you which is kinda cool you can see when everything's due it'll also show you your page that you, that those to do items are on so uh, theoretically you could you know make pages your projects or, or contexts or whatever and and have all of your to do's all set to go in Zim which is uh, pretty neat uh, the, the final thing uh, that's probably my final favorite feature, if you will, of uh, Zim Desktop Wiki is the fact that there's a, a pretty nice Gnome Do plugin. And uh, the way that works is you just bring up Gnome Do and uh, you can just type Zim and uh, you can open a Zim page. You can search search through them uh, by typing or by scrolling, kind of the way I am I'm doing right now. Um, you can also uh, add a new Zim page. Uh, just like that, which is pretty neat. Uh, so uh, I think uh, overall, uh, Zim is probably my favorite note taker, and uh, I really enjoy it a lot, and I definitely encourage you to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.